Righto guys, I know everyone's been hanging out to find out and check out the tour of our van and after being in it for what, yeah, two month anniversary isn't it? Yes, well at the 23rd I think it was, was our two month anniversary. Van, two, van anniversary. Two, two months van anniversary, there we go. <laughs> so look, we've found a good spot, we're at Sharinga Beach in South Australia on the Air Peninsula. Um, you'll get to see some of that through the windows. But we just thought, hey, let's take you through, uh, we'll go through the inside. And I'll touch base on the outside as well. So, um, do you yeah. want to lead the way? Because the inside's the best. <laughs> oh, righto, righto. Follow me. All right, let's go. Shall we start just here before you even come in the door? Sure. So, we decided to get, this was just an empty space down here. We decided to get a little step up made, but it also converts into a shoebox. So all of our sneakers and big heavy shoes go there. Our thongs still live outside because we have them on our feet all the time, but that's where all our big boots and shoes. It's also handy for me to step up onto to get into my side of the bed. Right it's very tricky. But come oh, on in. Hang on, what about you going to do the overhead cupboards and everything first? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got a TV. Couldn't TV go. this time, so. We never had a TV in our last week. For those of you that maybe haven't followed us um, or just new to following us, um, thank you for following us by the way but for the last two and a bit years Don and I have literally lived in the caravan that I built um, and we did oh, at least half of Australia in that last two years yeah it was good it worked. so we made a decision to keep going keep traveling um, thank you for everyone for support on Campedia that's just been amazing which is why we're still keep get, we're still able to keep going but um, we decided to upgrade so titanium were just amazing to work with we, uh, did, we did sell our house yes um, we have sold upgraded the house. to this because this is now our full-time home yes and we have for those that know us and follow us we have the two teenagers and a little young fella so we needed something comfy something spacious something that everyone would be happy in and this has certainly ticked all those boxes it has so um, good friends Chris and Miriam from ADU put us in touch with titanium Jace legend Jules Steve-O, Nick, Nick um, Wayne, Jacob everyone. Jacob, everyone, guys, thank you, great team, but, right, let's get into okay, it. Okay, okay. All right, hang on, <laughs> let me turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. Right, you go for it. All right, okay, so oh, we've gone for the east-west bed, which we had in our last van. We don't mind it. I know some people don't like it, but we don't have a problem with it, and I've got two options to get into bed. I can go the shoebox way, or most times I just stand on the arm of the chair and fly over Greg he knows when I'm cranky because I throw the elbow in but we've just got a few overhead um, cupboards and look at this isn't this pretty I got this little shadow line excuse the bugs <laughs> got this one. little shadow line up the top and it goes all the way around to the kitchen uppers as well but we also have LED lights in there I'll see if I can Woo! see that all right look at that you got, cool. LEDs, and LEDs, and you got LEDs, LEDs unders, unders as well but bit yeah. spoiled yeah i got that i just thought that was a pretty little feature to time with all the timber um we've got that we've gone with the oh, eastward fawn color um so oh, sorry i'm jumping ahead so we've got our bed overhead <laughs> cupboards she gets a bit excited okay, hey <laughs> um just got some cupboards down the side there and i've got one little drawer there yeah but um that's plenty of cupboard storage for it that's where all of mine and greg's actually greg's got one cupboard i've got one cupboard um, we've got mixed clothes over in the side cupboard. In so here. we don't have very many clothes, do we? No, but we've got jumpers in another space. What you'll also notice is at the end of the bed just here, we've got double USB, double USB Cs uh, for charging laptops um, and then obviously PowerPoints is there as well. Yeah. Um, and the pocket for the laptop. Nice pocket for laptop. Over in the corner, we've actually got a gas heater, trimmer gas heater, and then we've got our own little reading lights above our beds as well. And then a lot of people give us a bit of grief. We have got seven Sirocco fans <laughs> in our van. Um, I think the cameras keep trying to focus on. Check out that view out there. How good is that? I oh, know, beautiful. But anyway, try and get their focus back inside. Fans. All right, yeah, fans we, everywhere. We do have a lot of fans. I'm up yep. that hormonal age, so I get hot. <sighs> yeah, we won't go there. That's another yeah. That's another video. I think you did one with Miriam, didn't you, about all that sort of stuff? I think so. I can't remember. Yeah, that's not one for us boys. It's a girly one. But anyway, moving right. into the... Uh, dining and kitchen area so we've got a, um, a quite long tabletop which is great because all of us can sit around it we, even without using those we can all fit in there um, except but, for myself but we got these 
to sit on so it's easy enough for the kids just to be around there. Donna and I can pull those out because we're always up and down. The kids always want to drink halfway through dinner or whatever. So it just made it nice and easy. And all the school books get stored in there. All the schooling stuff goes in there. Yep. And I, do, I don't have to tie them down or anything when we travel. They just sit there and don't move. Yep. Um, but yeah, big tabletop because we've all got our laptops and we all do schooling. So we all need to have plenty of space there. Cool. Um, now, kitchen, another pan. Kit another fan in the kitchen this now. This is a great idea. Let me just tell them about the fan first. All right. Well, I was going to say, does anyone notice something that's missing from our kitchen? That's right. There's no oven no or grill oven. or cooktop. No. But we'll explain to that, which is where I think Donna was going with the fan. So yes. tell us about the fan. Exactly. The, the, well, it's not, to, it's for me to keep me cool while I'm cooking. It's so handy having it here. But the other benefit of it is um, when you're cooking, um, you, we've got the exhaust fan which sucks most of the steam away but for that extra when i'm cooking things that are really hot in the thermi if you've got a thermomix you'll know that a lot of steam comes out having this on just blows the steam away so it doesn't get all wet and moist up in your cupboards Stop, stops any any extra moisture that yeah. the ranger can't catch going into the cupboards so it stops all that yeah um, and when we pull over and have um sam toasted sandwiches or use the air fryer or anything that gets heated up the induction cooker i just whack it under this fan and cool it down really quick so I can pack it away again so it's not hot so yes it's handy to have the fan there I couldn't right have a kitchen without a fan so let's just touch on some of you are probably going right now let's turn some of the lights on above us down because make it a bit brighter in here um, so some people have asked us you know why did we get away from a gas oven we do a lot of cooking in the van um, but we've decided to go away from it because we always found as much as we use the oven and the cooktop, we just found you're lacking bench space. Yeah, bench we? space. And it gets hot using it. And the, the whole van gets hot using it. So we did splurge out. We do have an awesome battery system, which I'll get to. But you run three main appliances. You've got your Thermomix. Thermomix, induction cooktop, induction. and air fryer. Yeah, and you've got a Ninja Foodie Extra, extra large, large grill, grill air fryer. It does everything it's like the Thermomix. <laughs> oh my God, let's just not go there because I won't get it to stop. <laughs> But, um, we've, we, and actually that's another two months we've been in the van, we've never had a problem. So really quickly, we're running 900 amps of lithium, three 300 amp VTEC batteries from Enerdrive. Nine panels on the roof, which I think we're at 1.6 kilowatt of solar and a 2600 watt inverter. Now there is something else that we do do to give us double that inverter. So I'll talk about that in a minute, but Let's keep going through the van. But yes, gasless cooking, family of five for two months. We haven't had a problem. We've had overcast it. days, numerous overcast days, and, that, and it's never been an issue. It's been bloody awesome. So, in a drive, great systems. Love it. It's been brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We got yeah. power, baby. Yeah. As Brody Moss would say, <laughs> not fire. We got power, baby. Right. <laughs> what do we got next? Oh, so just, just a few light switches. Yeah, just just a couple. And the thing I love about these is you can they're um, why are they called wireless? Yes. Light switches, so you can you can have them anywhere that suits you. So we've just got ours. Um, is it double sided? What have you got? Yeah, them on double with? side tape. Yeah. So they're just like, but yeah, label them so all. So lots of, course. of lots of light switches. While we're talking about lots of things, I'll just segue just for two seconds. Let me segue again. See this? Good mate of mine for about twenty years, David Finn, one key caravan. It's been. An awesome upgrade hasn't it yeah it it's one has. thing we've done since we've got the van and i believe titanium are looking at doing it as a standard option or an option for you as well one key caravan david and jamie uh dave's been a mate of mine for uh, over 20 years nelson bay where i grew up is an absolute legend everyone in that town knows finney um had you know the locksmith business started there i think he was working with bay locksmiths back 20 years ago when he I first knew him met him um, absolute legend, but he's created a thing for one key caravan. So all your tunnel boots, everything goes back to one key. So you don't have, Oh, where I, is it? Oh, she's, <laughs> she's hidden it. Oh, hung no, the keys up. When we travel, I hide them behind the pillow because I don't want them to fall down and we accidentally open the so door and lose them. This, I actually don't need anymore, um, because it all comes back to one key. So this hat, one key caravan, check it out. So little segue there, but amazing Aussie business, just like Donna and I. Um, if you're interested, go and support them. Uh, just like, yeah, we, we love it because they're just a young couple 
bit younger than Donna and I, but they're having a crack and they're doing a stellar job and amazing business. Anyway, I digress. Yes. Let's show us the let's and show us the top drawer. Oh, oh I know, I know. Show us the top drawer. All right. Okay, we got. Top drawer, I've just got herbs and spices. We don't need to eat everything, sauces. short version. Okay, short version. This is one thing I love because I never had this in our last one. Oh, bins. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so handy. Uh, top drawer, this is my... Now, don't don't hate on me, okay? We're a family of five. Yes, I have a lot of cutlery and I love to cook and the kids love to eat, so... And, and that's the everything. Reason, the reason we're saying that is we did put this a photo of this on some caravan storage group and she got a little bit of heckle from someone saying oh my god how much cutlery do you really need we're a family of five like seriously there's five steak knives five butter knives like mm, it happens and we cook a lot yeah anyway. ocd much but anyway and then we've got our plates drawer and stubby coolers and drink bottles i don't like clutter or on the bench so everything's got a place to go got lots of fry All pans and mix cooking and fry thermomix pans. stuff Obviously under the sink, we've got under there too, some Tupperware, um, my induction cooker, it just travels on there on a nice soft bit of bouncy foam, and he just sits in there, I've got a couple little drawers, there's plenty of room under there, it goes all the way back, so it's really good. White sink. Yes, now white and silver sink. silver Tupperware, isn't it pretty? Now, let's, I'll ask the question a lot of people have asked us already, just in case, right? Staining. Does it stain? Show us what you do to so. Yes, it does stain. I won't lie. Tomatoes, anything tomato sauce based, red red things, it stains. You get a ring around it. But the magic erasers. Everyone should know the magic erasers. Those yeah. white foamy things. Just wipe it around and it's gone. So it doesn't permanently stain. It's like any sink, whether it's black, yeah, steel, whatever. If you've had spaghetti bolognese, you're going to get that ring around it. Yeah. But it cleans off and wipes off. And as you can see. It's nice and clean. That's after two months of use. And scratches too, like your fork or knife will scratch. It puts like a silvery grey scratch mark yep. in it. But again, the magic eraser just wipes it straight off. Now, um, we don't have a, a drip tray because you found this. Oh, I love this thing. Watch this. So if I've got a lot of dishes, I put out, it's got a little drain right over here. So it drips into the sink. Um, if I have little dishes, you close it off and leave it there. And if it's, I need all the bench space, this just goes and sits in the bathroom out of yes. the way and i've got all that extra bench space now Oops. you probably notice we do have a black powerpoint this is what here. you were getting back to righto so i might as well let me hold are you gonna hold righto okay let me flip that around for you so you can see me so what we've done is to double our inverter capacity i've got a 2600 watt inverter in the chevy we've got a 300 amp hour battery in the chevy as well so because donna's got the three main appliances she wants to use all three appliances at once she can and how we've done that is we got uh, the titanium to run an extra cable to an inlet on the outside of the van next to the normal shore power, which you plug in when you go to a caravan park. We plug the Chevy into the second one. It comes around to this single power point here. So then if Donna wants to run another appliance, which I'll usually get her to use the heavier appliance. So if it might be the air fryer, if it's cooking, she can plug the air fryer in it. It doesn't use the van's inverter. It uses the car inverter. And then she's still got the two points over there to use the induction Lots of and the thermomix. Now, obviously Donna's worked out and I'm going to make Donna do a video on this, aren't you Donna? Yes, honey. Which <laughs> she's going to talk about explaining about power usage and how to look at your appliances as to what you can use. So she knows with the induction cooktop and a the thermomix, what they add up to on certain temperatures and settings. So she knows how much it's going to draw and she's not going to blow the 2600 watt inverter. So. That's how we've got around only having the one inverter, which we don't really, we have two, with the second one being in the Chev, and it comes through this dedicated power point. So that has been a winner because it's so easy, grab the power cord out, plug it in the Chev, plug it in the side of the van, she's got instant power here, and another 300 amps. So all up, that's 1200 amps, I guess we could say we have. Yep. So that's, that's how that works, and that's why I think gasless cooking, family five, it is working. It gives us so much more bent space for food preparation, school work. I stand here and work sometimes. The kids are doing um, homeschooling on the table. It just frees up a lot of space. But anyway, people are probably seeing well, what's, what's behind us now. No, no, we haven't finished the kitchen. Oh, we haven't finished. Righto, righto. <laughs> Calm steady, down. Steady up, steady up. The other things, so obviously, you know, we've all got our overhead cupboards, which we just store all our lighter food and paper towel. And your microwave. Uh, microwave over there. And I love them because they're the turntable no free ones. Yep. No turntable. Oh, um, that's, that's ours. That's all the power system. 
up in here. We're running the Cymarine um, up there with the 900 um, amps. It goes through and shows all our tank settings. Um, oh, we'll get a little low there on the front tank, baby. Yep. Um, so what do we carry on board with water? We have got a fair bit of water. Remember, we've got two teenage girls that don't know what short showers are. They're getting better. They are getting better. We've got two 170 litre um, tanks for washing, showers and so forth, and an 85 litre dedicated drinking water tap. Um, and then we've got a grey water as well. So, um, yeah, we don't really have a shortage or any sort of problems. And we carry water in the Chevy too. And we can carry water <laughs> in the Chevy as well. Oh, so, dear. anyway, Donna's gone and opened up all her cupboards. Yeah, I decided to get shelves in these ones just to split it to make it easier. And I have tubs so I can pull things out. But, yeah, there's so much storage in the overhead cupboards. But for my heavy foods, like tins and things, this is what I love about the titanium. The kicker storage. Come with me. Dun, dun, dun. Now, unlike my good friend Miriam, which I'm a bit jealous, she's able to have all different shoes in her kicker storage. But with me, with the four, three kids, I need food <laughs> and lots of it. And so our we've soy got milk. Milks, our we've got all our one. tin food down here, and these go back. I think it's four tins. Like that's a lot of food down here that you can store, and it's keeping it low on the floor. So yeah, weights down low, which is good. Yeah. All our soy milk for our one coffee a day. Because I don't have a pantry because, you know, obviously length and, you know, if we keep going longer, we'll have a 30 foot van the way we're going. No. But, um, no, we won't. Yeah. <laughs> but, that, but then we've just got a few more drawers. It's obviously, you know, this one's full of extra food. And this one's a good one too, because that's all our toaster, kettle, ninja, um, all different things under there. And then obviously your fridge. Right. So we're running a 200 and, well, it's called a 224 litre, but it's actually 218 because the compressor... 216 216 because the compressor takes up some space there. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, don't forget to show them this. Oh, yeah. Look at this that. has been amazing for privacy. You know, what I, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't actually. Can you explain it to me? Let's don't not go there. Silly. All right. Oh. So we're into the kids' bunk, bunk area now. So this was a quad bunk. So what we've got to do, as you can see on this side now, haven't done the outside tour. We're on a sh um, truss chassis, so it's a flat floor, um, which enables us to put the bottom bunk, if I can bring this around, it enables us to put the bottom bunk, which is Sienna's, right on the ground. And they've got actually full height to sit in their bunks. They've all got a reading light. Again, Sirocco, if you come around this way, we've got a Sirocco fan, a big pocket, Charging um, stations. All the charging stations, US, USB-Cs. Yep, right And up on. above here, Jakey's got the same. Um, he's still now, only little, so... Well, he's eight. Now, we did take all the rails off, and then we went, yeah, he was struggling a little bit, and we nearly had a couple of instances where he nearly fell out of bed, so we've just thrown that in. Yeah, may, maybe in hindsight, if you're looking at this van, maybe just have like a, a little half one that goes up, just enough to keep them... You know, yep. feeling safe and secure. And then at his side here, she's loved decorating it. She's got her vines. She's got a fairy light through her vines. She's really made it her little haven. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But, Look at her view out there too. I know. It's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> How good is that? I know. Let's bring that back. All right. Anyway, back to anyway, digressing then, again. So under Addie's bunk, she's got her stairs obviously to climb up. But each one of these stairs is a little pigeonhole. And we've got all storage in there. So I've got a printer and schoolwork stuff we've got jumpers we've got our backpacks and my vacuum lives now in there that, as well they go all the way all back the way to, to the, the wall. back wall so you've got all oh, more than my arm length distance yeah. back there and but then what then, else have we got then the kids have all got um their store their clothes drawer so each kid have got one two three for their clothes drawers no no um jacob's got one the girls have two drawers because they're teenagers they love their clothes no that's jacob's toy drawer you're not going to open that are you oh no you don't want to see that <laughs> um this one's where i store my ninja the ninja that we always talk about i just slide him out he sits on a bit of foam too this thing is amazing i might go into i might do a separate video on it because it is so cool Especially for a family, you've just got that extra surface area to be able to cook a whole chicken and veggies at the same time. But I tell you what I'm loving you doing in that at the moment is all your sourdough that you're oh, making. Sourdough. We're gonna be fat because we're eating so much sourdough. It is good, but but yes. Um what but, was I gonna say? Then, but then the kids, they have a look at this. That's a big 90 litre. That's a huge tub. and they've just you know, they're into arts and crafts and reading and all sorts of different things. So they put all their stuff down there. 
So there's three of those along there, the steps. So that just gives us so much more storage uh, for the kids' clothes and makes it nice and easy. So because I'm just about standing in the bathroom and mm -hmm. it just gives the girls the opportunity to have their clothes, have showers without having to come past us. Oh, and these they... things too. Ah, uh, yes. Hang on, so spin this around. So, actually, one of the photos we did, I don't know, someone spotted it. Yeah. These little things are from Bunnings. They are just a little closed, retractable clothesline. Come in white or grey, black, I think yep. it is. And then you just stretch it out. Clip it onto there Clip and on there. lock it in. And then you can turn this little dial there yep. and it's Locks locked. It. And then if it's draining at night, we can hang all our bath towels from there. If we're about to go traveling for the day, Donna will do a load of washing and then... Yeah, I, I'll do all my washing and hang it up in here and it's dry by the time we get to where we're going. Because I've got two of them, obviously. I don't, up that. I don't do anything. <laughs> what? I don't do anything unless it's, um, you know, oh, yes. beneficial. There you go. Doubles. So two double clotheslines and that just makes life so much easier. <laughs> Put your arms down, woman. <laughs> All righto, into the bathroom. Obviously another sliding door. Yeah. Don't forget to lock these back too, because they will swing. Yeah, yeah, we've done that once, haven't we? <laughs> right, so what we've done is Initially, the washing machine was in the bench. We asked for a wall mount, which gave us this big long bench. Yes, I love my bench. All right, part of that is that we can keep the thermi here. You I don't, don't cook in the toilet, okay? Don't, don't I just, cook in here. I though. just store it in here, and then when I use it, I go and sit it out on there. And when we travel, I've got a green tub that's got a foam holder in it, and the thermi sits inside it in the shower when we travel. Yep. But this little washing machine, oh, it's a ripper. The NCE. Donna does a quick wash, 15 minutes. Yep. Um, daily washing, 9.75 litres of water, and it's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's got, if I've got dirty, dirty clothes, I'll do a um, the normal wash, which is, it's, I think it's a 30 degree wash. It's 45 minutes, it is longer, but it'll only use 20 litres of water. Yes. So it's still not much, and you can fit a ton in it. It's wonderful. Right, and beyond your, what's behind the oh, mirrors? Oh, I love this too. Da, da, da. So much girl beep that it's not funny. Yeah, and it's oh, it's just handy to have. And the drawers, there's so much like drawer space. You know, the, there's just. And out of all of that, I'll have a toothbrush and a toothpaste. <laughs> that's all Jakey and I have. And then you've got under here, you know, under there. Okay, that's where we keep our washing to do. But this is cool too. The um, the little pot. These are quite deep as well. Like they go back a fair way. That's where I keep all our coconut core for our composting oh, toilet so toilet rolls. That has been a game changer for us. Composting toilet over a cassette toilet. Love it. Again, we won't talk too much about it. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's part of vanning, right? The composting toilet allows us to go for, without having to change a toilet, I think it's about three weeks, right? Uh, yeah, two, three is pushing it, I reckon, for a family We could five. push it to three, but two is comfortable without having to change it. Now the pee bottle, yeah, you might have to take that out every second day, second day <laughs> with every all the girls. Um, but again, that is so much easier to dispose of than a normal cassette with chemical and everything else yeah. like that in it. So composting toilet for us is, it, it's, it's yeah. not a question, is it? No. It's, and even changing out <coughs> um, the solids out of it, it's it easy. is so easy and cleanly. It's I reckon it's actually probably even a little bit cleaner than having to do the cassette. Yeah. But anyway. And just top, uh, quick, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, top tip with your urine oh. bucket. <laughs> yeah. uh, when we first started, it, it was quite smelly, wasn't it? Yeah. I was, when, when emptying it, I was, oh, God, it's so vile. So if you add three big squirts of dishwashing liquid to it and just fill up the bottom with about this much vinegar, <gasps> oh my God, it smells like cloudy yeah. apple juice. I know that's weird, but. It, well, it doesn't. It, it doesn't stink. Oh, it doesn't stink. It's, I don't want to put you. It's off been a game changer. It is amazing. Right, and then we just got our shower. Oh, and look on the shower oh, for yes. the girls too. We have a okay. mirror because we have teenage mirror. girls. It's lots of time spent no, looking at so. And then the shower. Oh, this has been amazing because we had a combo toilet um, shower combination, toilet, and being so. able to jump in here now and have a shower. Oh, I love it. At any time, it's without just... having to <laughs> set the thing up and everything else like that. Yeah, you know so, what it's like if you got one of those. So look, that's the inside um, tour. 
Uh, is there anything I've forgotten? I don't, I don't know. know. It's a pretty quick run through, actually. I hope we weren't. Oh, oh probably were. But I don't know. We've been going for a while. I don't know. Yeah. I can't see how long I've my glasses back on. We're going for 34 minutes. But yeah, but honestly, this van has changed our life in the way that we travel. It's so feel a lot more secure. And comfy. You probably noticed our last van, a lot of canvas out the back where the girls used to sleep. This is all solid. Feel more secure, yeah. safer. Um, not that we ever camped there, we didn't feel safe, but yeah, it's always in the back of our, mm. used to be in the back of our minds anyway. And set up for this, oh my gosh, we used to have to pull all the mattresses through, sit them in the settee, and then yep. we'd fold up the back section and then load everything in the shower toilet so you could barely get to that when you had to go. You couldn't use your settee because all the mattresses were in there. This we just walk in and I think I just have to get my dishwasher drainer out of the sink and put it on the bench and the thermi on the bench and I'm done. Yeah. And yeah, you know, like the kids are sitting in the car now being super patient, so well behaved because they are starving and it's lunchtime. <laughs> but sorry, I'm just checking out some of the waves out. There's some cracking lefts out there. But anyway. But yeah. Um so look, absolutely love it. Um it enables us like Don and I to be able to stop and do a quick setup. We'll spend nights working, adding locations, approving locations, approving photos and all sorts of stuff. So well, you know we're working full time as well still um which this just gives us so much more com oh. comfort um it's so look a game changer it is a game changer look what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna step outside see if i can run you a cup through a couple of things here on the outside of the van um a couple of little things that we've done that are just again really help us work wise would you like me to hold the camera because um, um you can talk or? sure We'll come out. Let me find my pl let me find the work boots. Oh, that's a bit bright. Let's let's see if we can bring that round for you. Put my thongs on, righto. These have been amazing too, people. For ah, <laughs> check this out. Tidy turf. Love it. Custom inset step, one on each step, and the big grass mat. So seriously, if the kids can't get their feet clean after going through four mats, they get their butts kicked. So, oh, stood on a rock. Stood on a rock. Stood on a rock. <laughs> All right. So, I'll start at the front. Um, you want to hold that? Yep. Oh, goodness, here we right, go. Right, here we go. The wife's on the camera. Look out. Can I turn this around? Um, so, a couple of things we've added is Stone Stomper has been amazing. Um, just to stop any of the dirt and dust up in the van. Um, the truss chassis I was talking about. For size of this van, 23 foot 6, it's actually a safe weight saving between, I believe it's between the 60 to 80 kilos, um, which again, when you're chasing weight, that is just phenomenal. Jason, s and Vicky from s and Chassis, done an amazing job. Um, oh, Starlink. I was going to say, you yeah, get some okay. people saying, what are you doing? Yeah, so because that's been up there now for uh, about a month. Um, and it travels fine. We actually use it while we're driving. Donna's always on a laptop. We pull into every rest area, approve things. Donna's able to approve photos and um, locations yeah. while we're driving. Obviously, I don't do it because I'm driving. But it just enables us to keep working rather than have to try and get everything done at the end of the day. And it sits up there fine. This is a really solid frame. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Solid frame. Um, and it just goes flat, points straight to the sky. And the windage, because of the, the chev and the height of the chev and the surfboards and everything on top it stays there no problems two bike racks front window love our front window on our van must have it Definitely. Um, big toolbox here I'm not prepared there's a drawer at the top um, Jacob Weber. would you like to grab daddy's car keys buddy where are they oh they might be more pocket. oh hang on never more <laughs> no they're not that's all right um, but there's a big Weber slider in there as well We've got your standard. We don't have a whipper though. No, we don't. <laughs> standard tunnel boot. Something that. Jacob, do you could you grab Daddy's keys, please? Hang on. Hey. That's all right. Oh. Uh, yep. Here we go. Where's your one key, darling? There it is. There's <laughs> my one key, right there. So check this out. A little thing that I did in my last van, and I've done it in this one. Is have a look up there. Come oh, in closer. This is handy. See these PVC pipes just screwed to the rooftop there. Allows me to put all our anti flap kit up there and keeps it out of arm's way of everything else, which is just wicked. Um, big long awning. Very as well. big awning. We have a monster awning. Oh, come and check this out. This is part that I love about our van as well. Come down here, look at this. 
<laughs> so, oh, where am I looking? Now, Method Race wheels, good rims, and then we've also got the Toyo tires as well. So, uh, Race Wheels Australia, um, Michael Taylor, thank you for looking after us and helping us get these to fit the van. I believe, I'm not sure if it's 100% yet, but I believe you might be able to get these standard or as an inclusion now with your titanium. Don't hold me to that, I'm not sure. I had to do it aftermarket, but they're amazing. Love the look of them too. Um, we're running the Cruise Master XT airbag suspension, which again, as you can see, this side is really low because we're on quite a slope. The other side uh, is pumped right up um, to keep the van level, which again, that's a game changer because we're not having to get the ramps out and oh. do all that sort of stuff anymore. That is just, whew. Absolutely love it. While I'm talking about that, um, one little, another little thing that we actually got titanium to put in for us as well is, oh. I'll block that, is Savvy Level. So Savvy Level is just a little app on my phone that I can open up this, pull out my little fobs and use the app. If I can get my phone to open up. No, I've got all messages and everything coming through. But I just use my phone to be able to get the level of the van. Um, and it's just a little device. I don't have to get a spirit level out. I don't have to do anything. I just use a savvy level to level a van. Maybe it's, you could do a separate video on that. Yeah, I might do a separate, a separate video on that as well. That has been phenomenal. TV bracket and everything else in here. That's all standard. Um, as you can see, double power points above the outside tables. Again, if we're cooking we just bring our appliances outside and we're done and I can cook out here and inside's all left free we don't have to turn the oven on or grill on or anything like that keep coming around the back yeah why because we don't have an oven <laughs> well, yeah well, that's what I mean righto this is new rear bar let me just come around um, I hope I can talk about this now Jason I did see one on the back of a van at the show so I'm guessing this is okay um, we had testing this out this has been wicked Double wheel carrier. We carry double wheels because we actually had two blowouts coming back from Broome at the end of 21. Um, so we'll, I'll always carry double wheels. Um, and then we've got the toolbox. I hope that surf's not too noisy. For yeah, you. Sorry. that's a drawer that comes out. I've just got timber in there. Double jerry can holders on the outside as well. But I reckon it's just a really nice bar. And then our double camera up there as well. To look straight down or to um is that up there up here so yeah. when i'm driving i can see who's behind me i have had several cars coming across long roads and streets tuck right in behind us so where are you walking to are you walking all over the place oh sorry well there's, oh, there's you got the box and i'm tripping and righto so it's quite windy around this side but we'll see if i can make this work i'll just take the camera off you oh my goodness my thank God. you thanks son righto a bit windy around this side um, two fridge hatches as usual, but here's our separate inlet point just here that I was talking to you about for when that is separate black power point on the inside, um, which makes life so much easier than our normal in. Then we've just got two water fillers here, another one back there. It's our little tunnel boot in here. Um, and then the other side of the tunnel boot. But other than that, it's bloody yeah, awesome. The difference of the, um, the oh yeah. <laughs> so, so you saw on the other side when I'm talking about the methods and the Toyos, the tire was right up in there. So you can see the height we're getting with that XT and you can see the suspension. I'll run some clips now on the suspension, but we absolutely love it. So, what do you reckon, babe? Uh, I reckon it was the best decision we ever made to best. go with this van, and, uh, thanks to Chris and Miriam. Come around this way spend, so people can see us. Spending, there we go. Spending lots of time in their van, I just knew that was the van that I wanted. And then pulling up beside them and Chris o would be hit his little buttons on his air, what's it called? On the suspension. On the suspension, the, the airbag airbags. suspension. And I said to Greg, I want that. I don't care how much it costs in my next van, that's what I want. Yeah. And we got it. Yeah. <laughs> so look absolutely love it if you have any questions hit us up below more than happy to talk to anyone if you see us about come say good day. give us a shout um we don't like getting in people's faces or anything else like that so don't think we're snobs we just yeah don't want to you know annoy anyone but come and annoy us come and say hello we'd love to meet people um 
but I'm going to do a rundown more on the Chevy as well, how I've set that up. It's a 2016, we bought it second hand and it is just been awesome, so absolutely loving it. But again, um, Jace and the whole team of Titanium, thank you for allowing me to be annoying and come in and check the progress of the build, um, working with me with things I insisted on, like that second PowerPoint, um, and allowing us to test out like that rear bar and stuff. Absolutely loving it, guys. Thank you. You'd have done an amazing job and built an amazing product. You've made life for us on the road just yes. fabulous. Yes, and don't, oh, we're not sponsored by Titanium, by the way, either. <laughs> This is, yeah, we've, we've paid for this, you know. But again, it's like anything. You, you pay for quality, it, it's good. So it's Worth every penny. Absolutely. All right, guys. Keep following. Thank you for following. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And see you soon. Bye.